welcome to the Rubber Boots Podcast. This is episode 125. And the Super Bowl Play Podcast, which is episode 19. That means we have an audio edition on iTunes and a video edition, which is just audio, <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, I'm Alex Hanley, and with me as always is Jason Church. Hello, everyone. You we, know, speaking of the video podcast... I need I, to tell, us, tell people what this podcast is. Okay, All tell right? them, and then I'll get to my little We bit. make videos on Roboots sometimes, <laughs> and we make videos on Spiro Play. All the time. Too much time, from actually. Vancouver, and this is our podcast. Yes. Every Saturday. Every Saturday we come out yeah. and we say, hey guys, how are you How are you doing? We say, we're here, we're queer, get used to it. <laughs> um, I looked into, you know that other video camera I have? That little Vixia? I like it. Um, I like it too. The only problem, I realized why we stopped using it, it has the worst format known yes. to man. M2 TS, oh, HD or something like that. Um, Because I did some little test recording, and I realized, oh, yeah, you can't really transfer it. One, file's enormous, even if we're recording along, you know, an hour or whatever for the show. Because I think doing a video podcast at some point would be very fun to do. It would be fun to get into that again. Um, But I feel like we need to just record on something else, unfortunately. That video camera just, like, I spent good money on that, too, uh, way back. But it's just, like... What did she spend on that? Oh, I want to say, like... Three or four hundred dollars. I remember. Do you remember? Let's tell that story. What? Remember when me, you, and Tia went like to Vancouver, uh, like above that tattoo shop, and there was oh, that... <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yeah, yes, that's a funny story. Oh my god, yeah, the hassles of trying to buy this thing. That was the one that you ended up buying. No, yeah, because that was just a weird shady operation. That was bizarre. I ended up just getting it online or yeah. from some like regular store where I didn't feel concerned about my safety <laughs> or uh, getting raped. We drove to like the outskirts of Vancouver, yeah. the city itself. We live in the suburbs. We live in another city, but the main hub is Vancouver. And we went out to just the yeah, the outskirts to this like random like tattoo shop. We was a, it a was Craigslist a ba- ad, right? It, it was a Craigslist ad, um, like some back alley. It wasn't even on like a main street. His apartment was like in the back alley and then up above, above, above tattoo. the tattoo yeah. <laughs> shop. And he came out, and because we parked somewhere nearby, and it was the three of us were like, okay, let's see. see yeah. this, this isn't going to be bad, right? This is our first time doing Craigslist stuff, but it should be fine. And no, sure enough, it's the weirdest motherfucker. The, yeah, the crackiest dude you've ever seen. <laughs> Like oh Super you, you skinny you stole this yeah, and now you're he just stole it and needed it, selling it for crack money yeah and the thing is he didn't have it though no he did not have it he, he would, so it's like his friend had it his friend was trying to sell it and, to someone else but he's like yeah if you could come back here in an hour I'll sell it to you and it's or like or like no. stay around it's just like no no we don't want to get mugged and robbed. yeah did he offer to he didn't have us come up no he was above talking down to us yeah. like he didn't even come down to like hey hello shake your hand blah blah, blah. it's just like. Hey, his camera, my friend's got it right now. He's just, he's showing it. But if you come back, it's like, n- no. no, no, that's all right. Yeah, we'll do that for sure, buddy. Yeah, I think we told him like, yeah, yeah, we'll be back in like an hour or that something. That man is for sure dead. He's oh, for def- sure overdosed. <clears throat> yes, uh, too much heroin, too much crack. Um, but yeah, no, it's a shame. And that was like the first time I did ever anything, either of us had done anything on Craigslist. Yeah. But since then, I've got sold shit fine, bought yeah. shit fine. Yeah. So I've bought uh, lenses and stuff fine. You know, it's, it works out. I you sold see- all my Pokemon cards. Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? One hundred dollars. That's pretty good. I put it out there. I was surprised how quickly people were responding to it. That's crazy. And I was just like measuring it. I was, but the thing I was, I was playing it well because I was like telling people, well, this guy's going to pay this much for it, so yeah, will yeah, you yeah. pay that much? Yeah. He's like, I don't know. And then just like basically doing that between two or three people and eventually got it up to 100. That's crazy. Um, Did you list like what cards were yeah, that you oh, have okay, to? Yeah, you yeah. Just say box of Pokemon cards. People yeah. care about specifics. But luckily I had a lot of good cards that were in good condition. In good con- well, that's the thing. I watched a video where a guy was talking about like why your Pokemon cards aren't worth that much. And it's like the biggest factor is one, your card's terrible condition. You probably cut them in awful condition, too. Like, most of the cards, like, are worth nothing. Even the rare ones. Yeah. Because they're, like, unless they're first edition or they're, like, misprints or weird things like that. Well, and the thing is, I can't remember what they call them, but, yeah, there's ones with Fossil th- cards? No, no, no. No. <laughs> no, not fossil cards. No, the ones that had, like, the little signature or no. something. No. Right. I know what a fucking fossil mm. jungle. 
fucking I know that stuff. Gym leader, Tim, Team Rocket. Stuff Number like one, that. the further additions they go down, yeah, um, are worth less. Um, I'm not talking about first edition, but there's ones that have not misprints, but the letters are tiny, like mm-hmm. the letters are smaller, and that doesn't signify that they're first edition. But that means like they're like first print. There was like a bunch that weren't misprinted. Oh, where they didn't have the shadow or something as yeah, well. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had like 30 of those. Did you? Yeah. So those are worth not a lot, but mm-hmm. worth more than regular ones. Yeah. No, I think I looked through my cards and I didn't see that I had any of those. I had a bunch of like I had a few first editions that have like the little first. Like yeah, that, yeah. That's not really. I, I in the end, like I went through all the cards, mm-hmm. like. 90% of them weren't worth anything. But yeah. then there was like a bunch of holographic ones, a bunch of first edition ones, and a bunch of those special shadowed ones. Yeah. And I had like 50 or 60 of those. Wow. Um, and that's what was the, ma- the main value was. And one of the persons was like a collector who resold on eBay. <laughs> I'm and the, a collector of sorts. And the other person was just some guy who was like, yeah, well, I just finished like my summer job and I made a bunch of money and uh, I, I, lo- I love Pokemon and I just <laughs> wanted to like start up a collection. So that was a guy I ended up selling it to. Oh, really? He ended up paying more money. <laughs> um, he was, and I met with him. It was like this chubby, like, hundred pounds heavier than I was, mm-hmm. and like Chub. this big, like, Asian guy. He's Snorlax. Basically, Snorlax. <laughs> um, yeah. So I met with him, and I was like, "Here they are." And the thing is, I gave it to him. Like, it was in like a box or whatever. I was like, "Here they are." <clears throat> yeah. He didn't even like look to check beforehand. I really? Could have given him fucking. He opens up. It's Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's, it's drywall. It's GTA Five. Yeah. Have you done that mission? No. That I, mission. I haven't played Jason, in... That mission is like an hour into the game. Oh wait, then I must have. Um. I'm like, no. You go to Grove Street. You stretch and Lamar and Trevor. Maybe. Franklin is you. Um, I don't know. But anyways. He didn't even check. I'm like, do you want to check beforehand? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> like, I could have literally just... And the thing is... Give him an empty box. Well, no, I, I really could have jipped that guy, too, because he wasn't too particular about the rare ones. So I'm like, oh, I could just keep, like, half of the rare ones and then sell that to, sell them to the other guy. Yeah. And then I'm like, ah, fuck it. I just want to get done with this. Get rid give, of them. I don't give a shit making 20 bucks on this other shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was hmm. in Craigslist. Yeah, good. Yeah, you get your dick wet. Yeah, it will. All those misconnections. Hey, if you're not watching our misconnection series. Well, they have the other stuff. They have, like, the personals. I guess they do, don't they? I've looked on there before, just out of curiosity. Morbid curiosity. You're like... Nothing there. Lots of escorts. But uh, even the ones that are, like, I'm lonely. Uh, oh, it's like, yeah, because you... I'm a woman, you... and I live in Chilliwack. <laughs> I'm 49. I'm a little hefty. <laughs> oh, but I'm, I'm curvaceous. It's like... <laughs> God, okay. There's nothing here that I want. I hate, I hate, hate, hate how people will come off with this like, well, I'm curvaceous. I'm just, I'm curve love, you know? It's just like, what? What is is this? There's ugly fat and there's cute fat. That's all I'm going to say. Curvaceous. I don't know. Well, I'm just, not even I talking. Like, I don't like that word. I don't like what that. That's fat, but pretty is pretty. They can be pretty fat girls out there. <laughs> they can be pretty Most fat. Most are ugly fat girls. <laughs> um, no, you never... know who's somebody who's everywhere lately? Um, which is funny. Uh, on Google, I searched, I think it was fat girl from. And I, I was mm-hmm. thinking, I was doing it as like a wager to myself because I'm like, it's going to be fat girl from Pitch Perfect. There's an actress out who's perfect. Rebel Wilson, like a big, fat, like blonde Australian chick who's okay. everywhere right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I was put fat girl from, and I was expecting it to be pitch perfect. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whatever, whatever. And the third one was fat girl from Bridesmaids. I'm like, well, it's the same actress. But it was just <laughs> the fact that somebody had searched that. I'm like, I knew somebody would have. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's everywhere. She's cute, but she's like probably like 250 pounds. Yeah. But she's cute. Maybe she, even more. She can't lose that weight, though. That's who she is. She shouldn't. She rocks it. Yeah. Yeah. If you get skinny, it's like nobody knows what that's going to look like. This is, yeah. The, lion's, that is who you lion's are. face on the stomach. Well, it's like, no, if you're fat and you're cute, whatever. She'll find some fucking husband who's super into that. Yeah. Hey, that's what you're into. Go I for it. so hard that my headphones <laughs> fell out. <laughs> it just exploded out. Um, speaking of fat. No, I've got nothing. No, I thought you had something that you were trying to, and I finished my thing. You were like, Reddit no. says... Reddit says... <laughs> Reddit says pollution. Oh, that was just me saying... <laughs> that was way before we started the show. Uh, something about um, 
Uh, Reddit says that air pollution is the leading cause of cancer, to which I said, well, yes, air pollution is not good for you. Um, I was kind of concerned that all this fog we were getting, I was like, is, this air, is China's air getting to us finally? Is it finally happening? What's well, an interesting thing I heard about how um, a bunch of kids in the fucking Caribbeans were getting, like little black kids were getting asthma. Really? And they were like, why are these kids getting asthma? Yeah. Um, and they were like doing scans of their lungs and their esophagus or whatever, mm. fucking looking at this. And they're like, it's all scraped to shit. They're shit lungs. It's like, these kids shouldn't have lungs that are this bad. They're like, is it pollution? Chain- are they smoking? What's yeah. going on? The kids weren't smoking. What's going on with this? And they finally found the reason mm-hmm. silica, sand. Silica. Yeah, yeah. These kids, they had sand and silica in their like throats that was fucking them up. They're like, well, what is the cause for this? What is the reason being behind this? What? It's from the Sahara Desert. Really? There's silica that has traveled <clears throat> across the Atlantic Ocean along the wind currents. Tiny, so tiny. So fine. So small. Across all the way to the Caribbean. Yeah. And it's just fucking with the people's lungs there. What? Yeah. No, it's like I've heard of, you know, like sand That's migrating. Sand. But she, from the Sahara and, I don't know, the Gobi, too, or some shit. To all the deserts. To all the way, like, the other side of the world. <laughs> yeah. To, I guess that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, that could happen. God, that's terrible. You can't do anything. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. Move. Kill yourself. I guess. Asthma's not the worst thing. Like No. It's a lot of crime and... No, I'm saying just to have a fucking puffer. It's not the worst thing. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, in the Caribbean, this worst thing. I'm like, yeah, it's I suppose. It's not cancer, so... No, but it's still... Still pretty bad. Asthma sucks. I had it really bad when I was a kid. Fortunately, I grew out of it for the most part, but it's the worst. I used to have, when you're a small kid and, like, you can't have the puffer, you can't have that directly. You need to, like, put it in this long tube. It's like a foot-long tube that has a little mouth thing that goes over your face. And you puff it in there and you, like... Do you know what that is? I don't know. Steroids. Is that all it is? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> um, Maybe. I think, I think that is actually the case. It's like some sort of like thing that's just like your body just goes yeah into basically into hypercharge of just yeah. like oh you want to breathe now all right yeah because um, that's like you do steroids you're just pumped up you yeah. breathe more your muscles no, take in more oxygen it's like your blood gets uh, it constricts and stuff and it's flowing yeah. faster and your things I think it is just a steroid thing yeah probably. Human well, they, used to, they used to do ads for, like, the Advair. You know, Advair, Advair, the purple? And it's basically for not people who have asthma, but for people who have, like, um, allergies and stuff. It's, like, comes yeah. in a purple container. It's an inhaler type thing, too. Okay. I believe that's just steroids. Huh. But Everyone's just taking steroids. Yeah. Well, there's steroids that are not, like, illegal or whatever. All yeah. that kind of stuff. It's. Oh, I'm sure it's a much smaller dosage, too, compared to what people would take. Well, yeah, you can't get hyped off of it. Just yeah. enough that your body lives. Or could you? I'm sure you get high off of it. No, I mean, like, if you just, like, you just kept going until your body's, like, in rage mode. It's like. You, yeah, I think you get sick. <laughs> it's probably it's the not. body's reaction to taking too much of something. You get sick. Yeah, it just tries to expel it. It's just like, no, that's. You feel so good after you throw up sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you your have body's like, telling you like throw up, just do it. Yeah, it knows what's up. Don't try to. Re- I got a phone call. This is like the last time we were recording. I got a phone call like ten, 10 in the morning, whatever, and mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was. Um, but like, oh, because I, I moved into a new place, I was getting a couch, um, so I had to like bring this couch down these three flights of stairs <laughs> that lead to my place. Um, and it's like my place isn't like even a basement suite. It's, above ground level it has a patio and all this nice yeah. ass place but you're gonna go down three flights of stairs but so I wake up first thing and I'm helping carry this couch down three flights of stairs mm-hmm. and when I get to the bottom my body's just like throw up just throw up <laughs> and that was one of the times where the only reason I didn't was because there was literally someone standing right there <laughs> and I would couch. look like and it wasn't I mean like I was out of shape it was just my body was just going like we're awake we're oh we're moving the couch down my body was just like what is going on because <laughs> um, I didn't eat anything or drink yeah. anything but yeah then I just let that subside and I was fine it's weird sometimes you have like you throw up and you're like I feel great I feel so much better and other times you throw up and it's just like. I want to die. I just want to kill myself. Well, there are times where my body's like throw up. It'll just do this thing where it won't give me the full like 
Mm-hmm. It's all out. And it'll then it's the this, same it's where this. it's dribble. It's the dribs. It's just like <laughs> cute dribble. And you'll be doing that for like an hour or two of just and, like blah blah. blah. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> and you don't even feel bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like just come out. Just get out of my body. Come on. And and I just, just a, now you're doing a Dane Cook bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Dane. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um but yeah, it's just like get the fuck out of my body. I just watched uh Louis C. K. on Howard Stern, which is from like a few months ago. It's mm-hmm. old now. But that was a good interview. That was like an hour and a half. Real talk. Um, yeah, which is that's why people like Howard Stern because he doesn't there's no bullshit there. No. Um I'm amazed that he's still doing what he's doing. I feel like he's been around forever. What was that? Your neighbor just dropped a marble. Um <laughs> <laughs> This isn't marble drop. Come on. Yeah, he's making like like good good mm-hmm. money too. From serious wherever he's with now. And he's also a judge on America's Got Talent. Oh. That's he's been doing that for like a year or two now. Yeah. Because everybody kept on calling for it. And also when Simon left uh, American, American Idol, Idol, they were like, get Howard Stern to be on there. Because he's, again, no bullshit. But they yeah. got him on America's Got Talent instead, which is produced by Simon. So. Yeah. Whatever. I, I can't watch those shows. It's just... Those annoying. shows, no, but I, yeah, it was cool to see him, and it was like a video. They still do like video interviews and stuff. Oh, because it was like a subscription service to like Howard on Demand or whatever, and they yeah, just yeah, yeah. film the interviews. So yeah, Lou was there, and it was he was talking about how much money he makes, which was interesting. Usually, he doesn't talk about that shit. I feel like well, nobody's supposed to talk about that. Yeah. But no, he's talking about when he used to write for Conan um, in the '90s and how much he was making then, and he said that he was making, I think it was twenty five hundred a week. Um, which pretty is pretty good. Amazing. Yeah. Um, but he was talking about how he was going from, he did this show in New York city, um, for the SNL people. Uh, what two? Oh, you can start playing at like, right. 75%. That's why it confused me for a second. We're downloading last of us. We're going to do some last of us videos. Yeah. And Jason deleted it. Cause he went, fuck this game. He, when, he, hey he, man. he went, fuck this stupid ass fucking game. <laughs> they deleted it. I didn't say that. I swear. It's just, I need space for GTA guys. Um, so no, Louis, uh, did this show in, uh, Saturday, blah, blah, blah. He did this show in New York city mm-hmm. and there are people from Saturday night live watching. And he tells a story that everyone else who was performing got hired for SNL, but him, uh, Every, Sarah Silverman was there. She was hired. Um, and like every person and people that weren't hired for cast were hired for writing. Yeah. And the thing is he apparently killed that night. He gave a great set. Yeah. So he's just like, how the fuck didn't I get hired when it's like he killed, he was better than anybody else. Yeah. Um, but the person that was hired for SNL ended up calling, uh, Robert Smigel, who's head writer at Conan, um, who did like, that's triumph. And it's also like Saturday TV Funhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Robert Smigel. And they called him and they were like, Hey, this guy's really funny. Have him write for Conan. Mm-hmm. So he ended up writing for Conan. Um, so he went from like being a struggling stand-up comic to, oh, now I live in L.A. <clears throat> doing um, huge, huge things. Well, yeah, doing 20, getting 2500 But he also said that the very first thing he did was buy, uh, I think it was a Mercedes-Benz. Whoa. And it was just Why? like... Why? <laughs> Louis, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what? He bought, like, yeah, a Mercedes-Benz in a place and had no money, and it was basically in debt the entire time. Because he bought a Mercedes-Benz. Yes. Um, and what the thing was, was he thinking? They were talking about just recently how he, um, Howard's like, you're obviously, like, probably top one, two, or three working stand-up right now. You just yeah. have a huge special. You have a hit TV show. He must be rich now, right? He's like, no, I'm in debt still. And it's like, how are you? Well, well no, how did how? You just your comedy special? You said you made a million in a week. How yeah. is that? How are you? It's like I just bought a new house, and it's just, well, how really? are you in debt? And it's like, I bought a house in New York City, so no, I. And Howard's like, but no, how are you? And he's like, Louis's like. I spent more money than I currently had. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's as simple as it gets. That's what debt is, guys. Yeah, so he has like a house in uh, New York now. So it yeah. must be a nice ass house. I was gonna say, I mean, New York expensive. Yeah, but it's like that must be a nice, nice place. Well, that's funny because that's one of the storylines of like season one or two of Louis of him like trying to find a new place after his divorce, um, and then he goes to like this really fancy place, mm-hmm. and the person is just like, oh, it's and it's fucking 20 million dollars yeah. and he's like all right i'll take it and then he goes to his accountant and he's like okay well this is how much it is and the yeah it's like no yeah <laughs> you have eight thousand dollars that's all you have he's <laughs> just like so confused with this like but i want to buy this place. yeah well no this is all the money you have yeah, but 
I want Louis on Netflix. Canadian. Watch that shit. No, not, not, a, not Canadian. Canadian Netflix. American Sorry. Netflix. American Netflix. Canadians, you fucked up. I think they have all the episodes of Louis on Netflix, which is great because it's an amazing show. Mm-hmm. And they're, I think there's currently like a lawsuit going on. They're, the people from Louis are like suing the fucking unions. The unions? Over weird stuff. But no, Louis starts up again in 2014. <clears throat> he took a year off yeah. and they're filming it right now. Yeah. So. And Girls comes back. Lots of good shows. Yeah. It's weird. No more Breaking Bad. Fuck that show. It's it's on. My parents were talking to me. What? Um, about, they're what like... was on? What? You said it was on. No, what, I didn't say what that. What did you start that... Who? Hey, listeners, <laughs> how did you start that sentence? I don't know. Start anyway, it again. My family came over. Okay. And they were talking about uh, not watching TV. They're like, we're going to get rid of... We're thinking of getting rid of the PVR because it's, it's so much more money yeah. to have... The PVR internet, they, they've got two different internets in their house because they need that, won't connect properly. Phone, cell phones, everything. And it's like, we don't, you know, TV. And I just, I laughed. It's well, like you they got, watch so much TV. I'm like, you guys watch so much TV. But this is what they said. They're like, we realized the other day, dad has like a thing that he can connect his iPad into the TV and, uh, oh, those fuckers should just get it, and not those fuckers. It's your parents. Your parents should get it. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm just so I'm on. The, I'm in the zone, man. Yeah, everyone's a fucker. I, I cracked it. Um, they should get an Apple TV. Those are ninety nine dollars. So, oh, they were just saying it's like a lot of the shows that they watch are on Netflix when yeah. they have one. I don't know why they're using their iPad. It's like you have a PS3. Yeah. Use Netflix. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> do whatever you want, guys. But I know if they had an Apple TV, well, do either of them, does anybody else there have a Mac or anything like that? <sighs> They've got a couple iPhones. Yeah, all My of mom those just things. got the iPhone 5. I Literally think. all of those things connect through AirPlay yeah. to an Apple TV, and that's 99 bucks. Yeah, I should talk to them about that. Yeah. But no, because they're saying, I, I guess for what they watch, a lot of the things are either ending or the things they do watch are on Netflix. It's like, yeah. And mm. literally, um, it, Netflix is on Apple TV. All those things. Yeah. Hulu, all those things yeah, are on yeah. Apple TV. Um, and that, that's super cheap. Yeah. But um, I just feel like that's such a weird cultural shock for them to not have something that they can sit down and just... I guess really, they, they don't, they're not the type to sit down and just put something on. The only thing... I haven't had cable for since like 2011. Yeah. So two years now. Um, the only like things that I miss are late night stuff. Mm-hmm. Is hard, but lately that is super easy to find because both Conan and Jimmy put all their shit on YouTube, they're which getting, is new. They're turning around. Um, but uh, sports, there's no sports. And they don't can, watch. They watch hockey. Yeah, exactly. But, so, but I've been watching. I've been watching that online for two years. Yeah. There's like places you can go. Yeah. You can get it legally, or you can get it illegally. Illegally. Illegally, but also the, illegally. The, the legally stuff is bullshit because it's you not can get, good. You can get, no, no, it's great. Um, you can get NHL Center Ice, which is um, thing you, you pay two hundred bucks, which sounds like a lot. But you can watch all the hockey you want. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like, oh fuck, it, Toronto's playing Pittsburgh. I can tune, put on NHL Center Ice. There it is. The only thing is, it's never you can't watch your own games. You can't watch Canucks games. Why not? So if you live in Detroit, you can't watch Detroit games because what? the local markets pay all this money to get the rights for these games. Well, that's bullshit. Yeah, so you can't watch your What's own... What's the point of that? <laughs> that's can't the watch worst your... thing in the world. It's basically for people who are huge hockey fans. Just of hockey. Yeah, so they always want to watch hockey, so you get center ice so you can watch the other, well, other it's, games. It's for people who... It's $200, need... so it's for crazy hockey fans, obviously. Yeah. It's not for the average person. So, but yeah, I have no use for that. People living in the bumfuck middle of nowhere where they don't have anything, and they're like, we get all the games here. Yeah. That's well, the thing is, the interesting thing is, they used to have pay per view games too for hockey. Did they? Ten games out of the year for like the Canucks would be pay per view games, and you can only watch it through pay per view. Yeah, and that Weird. ended up changing because um, they realized that we're like we're not making any money no, from were, this. No, the thing is, they ended up putting those games on a different network. Like they, they launched a new like Sportsnet One or some fucking thing, mm-hmm. and they put them on that instead. And then they eventually just went. Um, I can't remember how it works. Somebody paid more money and was basically like, fuck, don't do that. Yeah, stop doing this. They basically proved that they make more money just by putting it on TV rather than doing the pay-per-view. Because hmm. um, people would literally just not watch those games. Well, yeah. No, um, I, I feel like even back when pay-per-view was like a big thing, it's like I didn't know anyone who would actually spend the money on that sort of stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, 
Well, and that's the weird thing. Like, your parents must do it or used to do it or whatever um, because they have those movies on the things where it's like, this movie's playing, but it's on the the Movie Central channel or whatever. Uh, You can pay for those channels separately. You know, I'm saying you pay for those channels, but there's also ones where it's like, do you want to just do it just for this movie? Oh, yeah, like Sean Demand and things like that. Yeah, they would do that occasionally, but it's no different than... That's what everyone does. There's no fucking Rogers. Yeah. So, yeah. Rogers is gone. (laughs) Yeah, but it's cheaper anyways. It's a better deal. And it's usually better quality. You're not having to go out and get the well, yeah, goddamn fun. movie. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Um, like, I don't want to leave my house. Mm-hmm. I'm in my uh, PJs, you know? Fuck you, Blockbuster. Yeah. Fuck you for all... I remember that was like Kevin Rose's stance, I feel like, on uh, Dick Nation. Oh, Just what? like, fuck Blockbuster. <laughs> like, they were going bankrupt, and then like Alex yeah. Albrecht would be like, well, no, Blockbuster, think of all the... All the memory and what yeah. they... It's like, no, Memories. fuck them for... Fucking b- every time you went to late Blockbuster, charges. Rogers, there's late charges. You go there, they never had the fucking thing you're after. Yeah, you're like, I want to rent this game. And the terms would be like ridiculous. For brand new things, take it back, bring it back the next day. Yeah, and for other things, a week. And it's, it's like, just, what, what is the, this system? Makes no sense. Yeah, this system is bullshit. Yeah, they'd have like one day, three days, seven five days. days. So five, sometimes it, depending on Rogers or whatever. Yeah. fuck it, fuck all of it. Yeah. I'm just going to pirate everything. I remember when I, like, tried to rent a, a, some system, too. Like, I got a GameCube and, like, Super Expensive. Smash Brothers. So much money. Everything is all locked up, and then these things are like, I have to come back in this condition. I remember doing that once, and I was like, I'm never well, doing this again. When I was Ever. A, when I was a kid, uh, we'd do that for the N64, and it was so cool. It and was, one of my one of my uh, birthdays, my dad went, here's what we can do. Either we can, I'll get the N60. We can rent it out for like a, a long, like a week or two, and you can mm. do that. Or I can buy you this thing called the PlayStation. Uh. Um, there's a person, there's a thing, and I saw it. I, yeah, it plays games too. I was like N64, N64, oh, yeah. and my dad was like, uh, "Well, I'll, I'll think on that one." <laughs> he ended up getting me the PlayStation. Yeah, smart choice. Uh, <laughs> Rather well, than just renting it for that two was weeks. the thing. It still cost you like sixty dollars. It was more than that. For like a yeah. day or two, you get yeah. like $60. I'm like, to me as a kid, I was like, woo! My yeah. parents are probably like, what the fuck? We'll just buy the goddamn thing. Yeah. Mind you, still very expensive. Yeah. $600 to well, buy a console the thing, back my then. My dad, um, there was like this place that was just like, we sell things. Like the one that we went to in Poco. Yeah. Where it's like, we just sell lots of things. We have so many things. We sell chocolate bars that are in a glass case, but we also sell DVDs. It's yeah. like, all right. <laughs> just a place that sells shit. Um, Just a quick thing. That convenience store has a freaking crane game in it. No idea why. Don't know why. Money. Money. Well, they don't pay them actually for those. I guess. The company that owns those yeah. will pay to have it in there. Does it? Yeah. No, it's just some no-name because brand people, thing, though. Well, whatever. Whoever, they didn't buy this thing. Those things are expensive. I don't know. The crane games, the companies that own those will be like... We'll pay you guys a hundred bucks a month or whatever just to have this in there. Yeah, and they'll go, all right, hundred bucks for fucking nothing. Hmm. And their goal is enough people will use that that it pays for itself. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. just money that they get. So yeah. Um, what the fuck was they? Oh, the yeah. My dad. There was like a place like that in Richmond mm-hmm. where they just sold whatever, and I guess they were selling a PlayStation for like cheaper. I think like seventy five bucks or something. Oh, what? Yeah. Wow. Um, they must was, have no, no idea what it, it was. No, it wasn't like brand new. It was like somebody. Yeah, I guess. It was like a pawn shop type thing, but not even a pawn shop. It was just when we the, sell things. Yeah, when did the PlayStation come out? What year was that? Was 95, that 95, 96. Was it the Depending same? Depending on like Japan, yeah. I believe it was 95. But yeah, 96 for the US. Yeah. And then the good games started coming out around 98. Yeah, 98, 99. Spyro, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy. Uh, Symphony of the Night, Silent Hill. Yeah. Like, a lot of stuff. Well, and it was just like you look at those games that are all classic that all came out basically the same year for PlayStation. It's like, holy fuck. Yeah. Too much stuff going on. Well, I was just listening to Silent Hill music the other day, and I was just like, man, the music for that game fucking holds up like crazy. Silent Hill 2 has amazing music. Kotaku had an article about Silent Hill 2. Yeah. About just like, it wasn't even like an article. It was one of those like Kinja fucking somebody wrote on their blog, and it was so good they bumped it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, And it's like, oh, hey. Mel. I still don't understand how the King Jehul thing works. You can you can have your own blog. No, I just mean like trying to find other people's stuff. I have no idea how it works. Well, it doesn't matter. The <laughs> thing is basically, hey, we can now make money off you and not pay you. Yeah. It's like they'll promote it. They'll get hits on your thing. Yeah. You won't make a cut of that. Nope. 
Um, but you get exposure, which oh, is you, nice. You hey, can be maybe, a writer. Maybe you'll get hired. Maybe you'll get hired for that. Nope. Um, but yeah, somebody was writing about how the best ending in video games came in 2001. They're talking about Silent Hill 2. Mm-hmm. I clicked on it. I was thinking, like, is this article, like, is it going to be like, oh, it's just a really good game. Uh, but no, they were actually talking about the in-water ending, which is not even the main ending. Like, oh, it's yeah. the one where yeah, yeah, yeah. the and it, they're talking about how mature it was for a game to to have a thing about suicide, to handle it really maturely, and to have it in a way where yeah, like another game might have it where some hero dies of valley like fucking Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, basically he leads himself to his death to spare his family. Um, and well, this was like a man dealing with his own guilt for his own actions. Um, but I was like, that well, it was cool to read this on Kotaku and. Um, that's like not the main ending either. Like you need to beat the game once, get any of the other endings. Beat it and, again. Yeah, basically, and we'll beat it again. And the terms for getting it, so weird. Where it's like, in order to get this ending, yeah. you just have to do things like you get a knife at one point. You just need to look at it during the game, just a bunch, just at random points, just not at certain points, but just like look at this knife a bunch, just examine and it. It increases the counter of like, okay, he's looked at the knife uh, six, seven, eight times now. Yeah, and there's no actual number. It's just look at yeah. it. Um, also, play the game with just like not full health, just that you're kind of injured the whole time. Just like always weird parameters to get this ending that yeah. are n- not specific, and you can still fuck up. So even if you go overkill on some things, it'll be like, oh, no, you got the Maria ending. It's like, well... <laughs> so the first time I got it, it was like an accomplishment because you need to play the entire game, and it, you can still fuck up right at the end. And yeah, even if you've like saved the entire point, it's like, well, no, I just might as well start again. Yeah, um, but yeah, Silent Hill Two. It's oh. out on uh, PlayStation Network. For you don't really Net- get things like that anymore. For endings, no, not really. Or just in general, if gameplay has become so. It needs to be streamlined so much. Like people don't want to have to work for things anymore. You know, I was playing yesterday. What's that? Shout out the Colossus. Really? Oh, because it's on... Well, I bought, oh, yeah, it's PlayStation Plus. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I got PlayStation Plus. And I realized, wow, I kind of hate this game. Really? <laughs> Boy, do I hate that grip system, for fuck's sake. The grip system. Oh. It's all, that game's all about the grip. Yeah? I'm on the third Colossus. Like, I breezed the first one, breezed yeah, the second yeah. one. I'm the third one. Just hanging on that fucker's belly. Just getting flung around. Um, no, no, you don't know how to play Shadow of the Colossus. What? Oh, you use the... Uh, Hustling to propel yourself upward and things like that. Like if a lot of classes will like shake back and forth. It's not the problem I'm having. The problem is his yeah. weak point is literally right in front of me. It's mm-hmm. on his fucking tummy, yeah. and you have to grab onto him. Are you and killing stab lizards? Him. Are you getting the lizard tails? This is the third one. It doesn't matter how much fucking grip I have. I'm holding on to him, uh-huh. and he's just swinging around. Oh, I know. And the thing is, he'll stop swinging, yeah. and the wanderer was still. Only be holding with one hand, and then I'll put a second hand on, and it's just gonna drop the hand. And I'll put the second hand on and drop it again. It's like, what are you doing? I think I think you're just bad at Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> no, because I got to the third fucking Colossus, having not played this game since it came out, 2004 or whatever. I got to the third Colossus in like a half hour, no problem. Beat the first one, beat the second one, mm. the third one. Thing is, you can stand. He has a belly platform. You can stand on. Yeah, this is the one that's like the sword. long sword. Yeah, I'm, and the thing is, you can hit with your sword. <clears throat> does no damage. No, you need to stab him. I know, but it's just so like I'm just that fucking grip mechanic where I'm just like this. Mm. Eventually, I finally beat him. Where I'm just like not even gripping. I'm just waiting, waiting. Okay, now he's just stopped shaking because he's just shaking. I'm not even holding on to him. Yeah, and I just grab him, stab him, and there we go. But I'd already done it, and it was just like. <laughs> Weird mechanics. Um, the head one was no problem. Like I the head one's how, easy. Because the thing with him too, I still remember the trick of you need to have him hit that platform first. Before That's before the he- only thing I, I ever have issues with that guy is like I'll wait there, I'll wait there, and like sometimes he'll do it like right away. He'll break his little wrist thing, and other times it's like he keeps missing. It's like, dude. Oh, I stood there and I shot <laughs> hit, him. Hit. I shot him with the arrows. It was just like, yeah. He's like, hey, none of that. Yeah. Um, but then I stopped in the horse one. Yeah. Horse one's kind of weird too. Uh, horse one again. I I devised it's just a, weird mechanics. The weird mechanics for that one, where you need to like grab his little tassels or no, tassels. but just to get him to actually look. Oh, look thing. down. Yeah, yeah. You have to go inside. Um, well, no, you have to like get his attention, mm-hmm. get him to come to one of the corners, yeah. and then hop inside. Yeah, and getting his attention is hard. And sometimes he'll come to like not even the right one. He'll be looking at a different one. Yeah, and he can't really tell. Speed strats. The way you beat that one really quickly Both is. You need to 
be riding Ago and like get close to him and jump off. And there's a, a point where he'll like lift his legs up. And if you time it right, you can like get propelled up by him lifting his legs up and get on his head and stab him. I did that. Mm-hmm. I remember when I first played that in PlayStation 2, yeah. and that's what I thought I had to do, because they mm-hmm. have those slopes that go up. And you can. And I thought, yeah, jump yeah. off that, jump off a- aggro, and then fuck Argo for ben, a- ben Affleck, Aga. and then grab onto his tossel. So I kept yeah. on trying to do that when I was... That, that is the fast way to do it, because the way to get him to lower yeah. his head and stuff, it's like, it can just, it's waste time. And when you're doing the uh, time attack one, it's like, by God, you gotta, you gotta yeah. use those strats. Fun game. Love that game. But I can understand why it's not without its own faults, My like, of course. One, but uh, I hadn't, yeah, I hadn't played it. And the second one, I remembered, like, oh, his feet are his weak point at first. Mm-hmm. Just to get it. And I was just like, I forgot that I needed to get him to attack. So I'm just like, he'd walk around and try to shoot him in his feet. Because <laughs> if they poke up for a second, I'm like, I can get this. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> you can. And it, like, does chip damage. It's like, boop. Boop. Yeah, but I was just yeah, I was trying to do that and yeah, it was not what I wanted, but uh Yeah. That game's fun to play, but I was just like so and also getting up there at the first point too, you okay. need to jump to that little ledge. Which one? Go, the second guy? N- no, the third one, the, okay. the the sword guy. Yeah. You have to go up that big ramp, mm-hmm. hop to that little thing, scoot around the thing, yeah, then hop to the thing. Fuck that up like three times. What? So I was like, what is he would do the thing where he would be like uh, and you'd fill up the thing and then jump. Yeah. He would jump and I'd be pressing R1. Yeah. He would touch it to slip. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> he would just like fucking rub his entire body against the ledge and fall down. Yeah. That's such a long swim and mm-hmm. a long climb back up and I fucked it up three times. I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the first time and the thing is the second time, worse. The third time, worse. And then I think yeah. the fourth time I got it and I was like, okay, there we go. Yeah. It's like, this was not necessary. Yeah. Like, I get you're trying to, like, hammer home the mechanics. And after that one, they don't tell you where the next one is, do they? What do you mean? After the third one, they do. Because the fucking, what's his name in the sky? He'll tell you, like, the the next guy's on this big platform. <laughs> he has a sword. But then yeah. the fourth one, they're not like, he's a horse <laughs> in a meadow. I think, don't they stop giving you tips after a while? No, they still, they, they're... Definitely become obscure more than others, but uh, it's it's still pretty clear. Yeah. There's a few of them where the light system just isn't. It, you have to well, like hit it at certain angles, and you're like, "Where am I? Am I not going to the right place?" And yeah. It's like, "Oh, I'm just." The game has put it in a weird location where the mechanics don't work. Like I said, not without its flaws, um, but that's one of my favorite games. I love that game. I'm not sure if it would be like a super robo play kind of game. Um, I heard it here first. Definitely a Super Robo Play game. Speed Strats. Yeah. I haven't um, played that in a few years, though, so I'd need to... No, you have it on the thing. That wasn't a few years ago. What do you mean? The HD collection only came out in 2011. 12. No, that was 2011. That's what I just said. Yeah, end of 2011. <laughs> so it would have been two years. Two years ago. Um, last Steve time means I pl- three. I uh, yeah, played yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, Adrian. Adrian. We um, could we could do the thing where uh, Rocky for NES. Yeah, no. What we could do because it might be funny actually, rather than just play the game normally. Because there's a lot of just have you horseback. hold one end of the controller yes. and hold the other one. No, the one thing <laughs> I have yet to do in that game is you play the game. When you beat it, it unlocks the time trial mode. And by completing that, you get a bunch of weapons. You know the, the, the queen sword. Yeah, you get all those weapons in the pool. You can go pick things up. Cool stuff. Things that just make the game sort of fun. White aggro. Um, Then if you beat that, you beat all the time trials you get, like, certain times, it unlocks uh, hard mode in, like, the game. And then then hard time trials. Then hard time trials. And I haven't done hard time trials. And I told you because I feel with that game being a favorite game of mine, I don't want to play that and become... Turn into a game. Yeah, turn into this thing. But it could be fun to do some episodes because... Rage quit. Oh, it's so... Have me do it. <laughs> if you played it, oh my god. It's like, I it'd get upset. It'd be frustrating for you. It'd be even more frustrating for me. Yeah, because they Especially the later ones that I don't really they're remember. They're so hard. There's a few of them where it's like, okay, the last one is whatever. The guy who's like shooting fireballs at you. There's one or two before that where it's like a... Close. Plaza. The, the flying <laughs> guy is... Uh, 
It's all right. Um, the one I hate is the big, like, Torterra guy who's – he has, like, little stumpy things, and he's in the desert, and you have to get the geyser to flip him over. Yeah, I get weird mechanics. Yeah. It's like that one again. I just hate that geyser thing. <sighs> Frustrating. So, but to do – when you're, like, on the clock, you're, like – Set the geyser off, and it's not going off. It's like I'm fucking <laughs> done. I'm fucking done with this. <laughs> Losing my mind here. Um, makes me want to replay that though. Makes me so upset that PlayStation Four is coming out, and we still don't have the gar- last, last Guardian. Guardian or whatever. Well, speaking of which, probably cover that. Um, the big news was Watch Dogs getting delayed and drive club well, well you fucking ruined it i'm sorry <laughs> i was gonna go into a big thing about watchdogs and then go to drive club but um i'm sorry there was so much heat for watchdogs mm-hmm. and then it was perfect for sony to be like well hey drive club and yeah. nobody's like nobody's like fuck you everybody's yeah. like oh okay i guess that that happens like, yeah people were so upset about watchdogs and i feel like the drive club thing it's like once that was the first domino, it, it was fine. It's exactly that. They saw an opportunity. They're like... Do it now. Yeah. Th- this game could use a few more months, which is weird because that was like the big game that they were saying, hey, free. you're going to get this for free. And but now they changed it to Reso Gun and Contrast. Great. No, those are both good games. Are they? <laughs> Contrast and Reso Gun both look excellent. I guess. Reso Gun is like... There's, oh, there's, yeah, the Super Stardust HD. Yeah, yeah. Um, And Contrast is like, looks super cool. I, I, I'm not, can't Look, I can't even explain it. It's like a cool girl and like interesting puzzle mechanics and stuff. Contrast, Contrast. PS4. Oh, right. And those will both be free. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. You, instead of getting one good racing game, you get two good indie games. <laughs> Let's like, be honest. It'll be an okay racing game. <laughs> yeah, it's, it will look gorgeous. So it'll look like, great. Um, Hopefully it'll look even better now. And it's weird how it's like... Playing Grand Theft Auto makes me... Well, it, the weird thing is mm-hmm. how bad some people are at driving. <laughs> um, yes. And it's like, that's the main mechanic of this game. It's just a driving game. Yeah. Um, but it makes me like realize, like I don't think of myself as someone who's a fan of racing games. Mm. But at the same time, it's like... You play a fair amount of racing games. Well, and it's like, that was like... I play the shit out of Burnout Paradise for no reason other than just like... Just want to chill for a bit. Listen to the drive soundtrack. Drive around. I'll do that. Or did Need for Speed Most Wanted, or just like, and I've realized like that's just a mechanic that I like, I guess, driving in games. Yeah. But I, the thing is, I hate racing. I just like racing's driving. the worst. I, no, in any like in Burnout, I never did any of the races. Mm-hmm. Need for Speed, I would only do the races to get stuff. Yeah. Um, it was always a means to an end, and same for Grand Theft Auto and online. I haven't done any of the races, but all, the only reason I would is just to get the car upgrades. Yeah. Um, but I don't like racing. I just like driving. Um, I just hate the whole, like, in GTA Online especially, I've done a couple races, and, oh, you missed the checkpoint by, like, a sliver. Uh, you didn't go through it. You got you to go all the way back. It's like, this is this is something from the 80s and 90s that we're still doing. It's like, there must be better racing mechanics that can well, be done. And that's what I like about... Um, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted is there's so many different race types. There's ones that are just like the key is to get as long a drift as possible. So it's not even technically a race. Yeah. But there's other ones where it's not a. It's just um, there's no checkpoints. It's just you get from here to there, and there's just you're racing one other person. Yeah. It's like go. Yeah. So it's like that's fine. You don't have to hit any checkpoints, but it'll basically tell you this is yeah. where you should go. Um, but there's like lots of different different mechanics. But yeah, GTA it's. Racing's never been a strong point. And then, th- apparently there's the whole, like, GTA races, where it's races, but you have, guns, like, guns and stuff. Yeah. I've never encountered anyone playing that, so I'm not even sure if that yeah, would make it more how, fun. Um, it's really removed, like, a lot of the... <clears throat> GTA 4 used to be just game types, game types, game yeah. types. And this is just, no, it's open world. It's always open. Whoever does the other shit. Yeah, and it's, like, trying to do all the other shit, which makes you money and stuff, is near impossible trying to get a full match oh my god definitely impossible i don't think i've ever really experienced anything in case unless like we've set it up yeah where it's like oh party's full we've got 16 people playing it's like no i've got four well, yeah and they need to adjust the the mechanics for money um it, it if didn't i make die any in, sense. yeah if i die in a mission or die in a death match that shouldn't affect my money what were they thinking <laughs> To hey, let's play deathmatch. Oh, but if you die, we're not going to tell you. But you actually you're losing money. It's yeah. like what? Pat, you need to patch that. That makes that, me. I'll never touch deathmatch because no. I don't want to lose all my money. Even that um the horde mode stuff. It's like 
that yeah. one's better because if you're good, you can survive. But it's like even that, it's like you need I don't to get to wave ten, get the eighteen thousand or whatever, yeah. and hope that you don't die. But and it's then like, it's I'm hesitant to play that because unless I'm playing with friends, no, we're gonna die, and then. I'll be wasting time and I'll be wasting money. So it's like, why? I, very, well, and I hope the stimulus package comes soon. I know that they just patched it last night, so that actually might be in now. Um, yeah. And I'm not sure what I'll spend that money on. Like, guns. probably a new place. Uh, I don't have enough guns unlocked. I, like, I have, I've purchased all the guns that I have unlocked. Yeah. Upgrading that, the guns is nice. Su- getting suppressors. Such a stupid mechanic to like, hey, we're gonna. Here's a bank system. Don't carry money on you. It's like, okay, that makes sense. And then, oh, we're still just going to take money out of your bank. No, get the fucking stocks in the game. Oh, yeah. So I can put my money in the stocks and don't have to fucking worry about my money. Yeah. Right? Just put them in something where it's like, Liquid I don't even assets. care if I'm making money, but then that can't be taken from me if it's in fucking whatever. What were they thinking? Because even even if you start losing money, at least you'd still have the stocks. It's yeah. like, that could go up again. It doesn't matter. And yeah. it's like, I've invested this. I own this much of this company. I'm good. Yeah. It's um, like, I, I, sorry, I just have to bring it back. What were they thinking that you have this mechanic where if you die, it's like you lose that, which doesn't even work, mind you. When you die and you have money on you. Oh, it's only a hundred bucks. It's only a hundred bucks. So why the fuck oh, is that a thing? Do you not know what happens to the actual money where it's being taken from? If you look on your transactions list, yeah. it's um, with medical bills. No, I know it's yeah, medical bills. Yeah. But I'm saying it's like... Medical I, bulls? Yes, medical bulls. It's mechanical. just a stupid, stupid mechanic. And the fact that they keep reducing how much money you make in missions, but they keep increasing how much you lose, and then they're giving the stimulus package out. It's like... When someone dies, I want them to drop the fucking money that the, ba- that the hospital gets. Or that they have on them. Yeah, make it worthwhile because... Yeah. Hundred dollars. Sometimes it's so hard to kill somebody. Yeah, and it's like, well, why would they? They had more money on them than yeah. this. If someone's carrying ten thousand dollars and I kill them, that should be mine. That's yeah. how the life works. They, they make such a, a statement of like, don't carry money on you, and you're like, okay, my money's in the bank. Doesn't matter. And then it doesn't matter. It's yeah. like, is this a, a bug? Is this not how it's supposed to work? But it's like, no, you've patched this game three times yeah. since it's come out. This is how you intend it? Why? Just to get people to buy money with real money? It's like, why would I buy the GTA money with my own personal money when I have no sound investment? I'm so frustrated right now, but at the same time, it's like we're only on a week, like two and a half of it's, this. It's a testament that we want this to be a good experience. Because, yeah, there, yeah there, there's certainly a groundwork there. Yeah. And I want to play in Vice City. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I want to play, hey, either Vice City uh, San Fierro or Los Venturas. Any of those I'd be stoked for. Yeah. Um, so or somewhere new. Better be fucking... I'll pay $40, $50 to play in one of these fucking places. Mm-hmm. And do the same thing that I'll they did. pay full price for a new game if it's just a new place. With GTA 4, where they did where it's like, okay, here's Ballad of Gay Tony, and we have lots of new matches, but you can only play with other Ballad of Gay Tony people. It's like, yeah, okay. I'll buy the expansion and well, yeah, if it's just limit the like people, but who cares? Fucking Lost Venturas and stuff. Say so they have a some new single player shit. Yeah, and either you have a new character, or if it's just <sighs> like, hey, the boys are back in Lost Venturas. Yeah, that's also really cool too. Yeah, Trevor in fucking Las Vegas. Like, yeah, that's some that's a, that's a story in itself. Yeah. Um, but so they could do that, but it's like no, just have that. It's not that I'm sick of Los Santos. I think Los Santos is great or Lo- Lost. I don't know why they do this. For, what? Well, the the place you play in is not San Andreas. Isn't it? Cause, no, because San Andreas is everything. It's all three of them. Oh, yeah. So it is in La- San Andreas. Yeah. But the area that you play in in GTA Five is technically... Just... No, no, it's Los Santos and Blaine County. So yeah. That's what they always call it. Yeah. So it's like, well, I don't know. It's just weird. San Andreas is There's all no three continuity. of them. <laughs> well, also, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> San Andreas is supposed to be like... California, but it's yeah. like, oh, okay. Los Angeles, San Francisco, Las Vegas. Like, Las Vegas is not yeah. California, but it doesn't all right. doesn't make sense. It um, didn't matter, though. It was fun. Because think if they do, um, like, be perfect, mm-hmm. if they have the the next one be Las Venturas, gambling, yeah. online gambling, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. oh, I just wasted all my money. I guess I'll pay real pay money. Real money. To yeah. get fake money gamble. Speaking of that, which I, I don't know how that like is that legal to do on because that's actually gambling. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> it's literally um, gambling. Was I talking to you about the slots stuff? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. in Pokemon? No. Um, I don't even think they have slots in. They the new... don't. They took those out a long yeah. time ago. There's um, problems because you can't. 
they have to edit the game in other countries that don't allow that, like right, Australia right, or right, whatever. Right. No, I've been doing a lot of research for, like, game stuff. And a lot of companies in Vancouver are, like, casino things. So I'm looking into it, and I just started playing a bunch of these, like, slot machine games that they have online. Because a lot of them will, here's a bunch of money, like, fake money. Go play with it. And it's like, man, I can see why people get addicted to those. It's so easy to just be like, colors, music, whoa, this is so fun. It's like, it's scary. Yeah, hey, but Yeah. Pretty much that. They got slots on the opets. Oh yeah, it's slots are so addictive. I I, I don't understand why yet, but I'm learning. Pokemon slots. Um, Those are Pokemon. good. All the other games are too much. Just have a thing that isn't slots, but it's just me pressing a button. The one I did like, I'm not sure if it was in Voltorb. The Voltorb, Voltorb flip. The Voltorb flip. I love Voltorb flip. That was such a game because there's more skill to it. Um, but it, it always get it frustrated me because you get to that one point where it's like. I've done as much skill as I can. Now it's up to luck. There's a great and game on up. Neopets called Spellseeker. Uh-huh. Boy, I love Spellseeker. Spellseeker. Um, where it's just... Uh, there's three ways you can play it. There's symbols, words, or numbers. And it's the same game either way. Where yeah. it's just like you have to line up... Um, like for words, you need to find words. But they have to all connect. So it's mm-hmm. just a bunch of tiles, basically, in yeah. front of you. So different letters, you have to find words there. Words one sucks... Um, cause you need to make, you need to think too much. Yeah. The symbols one also sucks. You need to find symbols that are just the same. The numbers one though, mm-hmm. when I was first playing it, I thought it would have to be like one, two, three, four, five. Got it. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one or two, three, four. Got it. Just, I thought it was like that. Yeah. And I was getting like, okay, st- scores. You only can get a thousand Neo points from it no matter what. And yeah. you have to get a hundred thousand to get that. So I could do pretty close to that. And then I clued into the fact, oh, you can go one, two, three, two, three, two, one, oh, two, you can three. Do... And once you realize you can start chaining like that, yeah. the game becomes insane yeah, um, yeah, because you can get so many points. But it becomes about um, – because you want to get higher on the leaderboards just for fucking whatever reason. Because if you're the highest person in a week, you get a trophy for it. Mm-hmm. Um but then it becomes like certain levels. It's like there's way more of like a meta game to it once you figure out you can do that. Yeah. Because you want to do well, but you don't want to do too well because you have a meter that fills up. And when the meter fills up, you get a button that just like clears the yeah um, yeah clears not clears it, but there are these like poisonous tiles. Yeah. And if they get from the top to the bottom, you lose. The thing clears all the poisonous tiles away. Okay. So in the later levels, it's really hard to get a chain because there's so many numbers. And yeah. it's not just one, two, three. It's, no, do them in multiples of three now. So it's no, three, three, six, nine. Yeah, three, six, nine. And then later, it's like four, and it'll go up to like 24. And yeah. it's just, it's harder for your brain to process the things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, you'll be sitting there looking, and it's like, oh, no, the best chain I can get is just three. Yeah. So it's like, and I need more than that. Yeah. So it's you, interesting. I'll look into that. Yeah. Spellseeker, ton of fun <laughs> on Neopets. Um, and super easy to get 3,000 Neopets out yeah. of that every day. No, I've been thinking of just sitting down and making I was like. I speed runs with that, by the way. Were you? Just to see how fast I could get to 100,000. Uh, um, like how fast I could get 1,000 Neo points. Hey, and, guys. Speed strats on uh, Neopets Spellseeker here. There's no strats, really, aside from just. Luck. You get good no, chance. No, luck, just. Do it fast. Just figure it. Look at the numbers. Yeah. Get them. No, I think I'm going to start working on another, like, mobile game and try and do something like that, but just do something casual. Whoa. And hmm? League of Legends 2. Nope. That would be too much work. Um, just to make some money on the side. See if I can sell shit like that. I was reading that because uh, obviously the problem with Android and iOS is too many games. I, so, just got, I just got so happy, but continue. Why? I realized I have a donair in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> Can I have some? Fuck you. Hey, man. Um, no, but that's great when you're hungry and you think like when you're hungry and there's just like something already made. Yeah. I know what I'm going to eat after. Pussy. Oh, yeah. Yours. Oops. We didn't talk about that yet. 